The South Downs Way is a long distance footpath and bridleway running along the South Downs in southern England. The trail runs 100 miles from Winchester in Hampshire to Eastbourne in East Sussex. Join me as I navigate the chalk bridleways and rolling hills of the South. Check out some of the greatest sunsets and sunrises I've seen to date and interact with some wonderful people along the way. Back on the National Trails, the South Downs Way. Hello and welcome to another video. On this video, we're doing another National Trail. Not up north though. I'm down south and I'm doing the South Downs way. It just so happens to be another heat wave, so looks like I haven't learnt my lesson. I don't just wait for a heat wave and then just think, right, I'm off to go do us a, a long distance hike. It just it just it's just worked out like that. I also had no idea that I was gonna be coming on this hike either. Okay, I haven't researched it at all. I just plotted it into my OS map on my phone. I don't even have a, a Harvey map, so we're gonna to have to do that all the map time. We'll have to be done later on and I'll sort of edit it in hopefully. But this is just a true, true adventure. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if it's a difficult hike. I just know it's 100 mile. Join me, I don't know how many parts this is gonna be or if I'm even gonna make it. My ankle's tweaking. Before I set off, it was like, well, like an old injury started tweaking on my ankle. So we might not even make it. But if we do, and I've uploaded this, Come on, join me on this amazing trip down the South Downs Way, taking in such wonderful sights as this motorway. My personal favourite motorway of all the but in fact, forget latches and locks from now on, it's motorway bridges. And this is probably, should we see if we can get a beep? Yeah! <laughs> oh yes! I'm like that guy on uh, who does the trains. <laughs> Got a V. Oh, we're off to a good start here. That's worth subscribing, isn't it, for that? Woo let's get one except the one. Yes, let's go. Come on. Oh. Got cocky, did I? Whew. That's a springing step. Let's go. Honk, honk. I'll see what he gets. I'll see what the fuss is about now. We might start a train thing. Might get into trains. Yeah? This is my boy Sid, Knuckle Sid. He's doing, what are you doing? Uh, 300 miles. <laughs> 300 miles, so if I complain at all during this trip, I'll just remember Sid doing 300 miles, ending up in? Uh, Solcombe in South Devon. Solcombe in South Devon, following his father's footsteps. Respect. Good little interaction that, I just stopped a fellow hiker, he was going another way. Cause, <laughs> a bit lazy really, I, I wanted to get my little lollipop lady hat on. We're back! I stopped this guy, I was like, do you mind doing it a favour, mate? Could you get my, my lollipop lady hat out of my bag for me? <laughs> and uh, we just had a real good chat. He's doing like a 300... Uh... Wild peach. He was doing like a 300 miler in memory of his whose dad who passed away a few years ago uh, seemed like a really nice lad so if you're watching this mate big up you i hope you made it to your destination and uh shout out your old man as well hey mate <laughs> beautiful absolutely beautiful houses i love the way that they use the they incorporate the flint into the into the stone, into the walls. There's a couple of lads doing a bit of it back there, so stopped and had a little bit of a natter and a checked out what they were doing. It's really interesting. Look at this man, stop peering into people's gardens, mate. Got a tree house, look. That's nice. Are you in, Dustin? Mike? Are you in? <laughs> As I say, I don't really know what, yeah, I'll give you a bit of, that's better, isn't it, don't I? Oh, As I say, I don't really know what to expect on this one. My mate I met at the beginning said there's lots of places to stop to refill the water, like pubs and things like that, little villages. So 
that's good. I don't know what the landscape's going to be like. I guess this is classed as a mountain down here, isn't it? <laughs> Shots fired, look. Just because I'm not as down sir. That's lovely Winchester. Right over there in the background. Beautiful. Uh, I guess it's a city. It's got a cathedral. Beautiful place. Really nice. I got a bit sidetracked looking about there a little bit, but worth it. I just bumped in, <laughs> into another lad on this track laden with camping gear, buckets. He had this like orange bucket hat on, uh, orange socks. I was like, all right, mate, how are you doing? And it uh, turns out he was going to Boomtown Festival. One of his mates had let him down uh, in Winchester for a lift, so he was hiking there. However far, it's like three or four mile, but mate, laden, laden like the buckaroo horse, just about to buck. Uh, so I had a bit of a chat with him. Offered to carry his stuff for him, but he was like, nah, I've got this. So I said, good luck to you, mate. Knuckles up, have a good festival. Uh, surely you've got something in that little, surely you've got something in your man bag to help you get up this hill. And he said, no, nah, just weed. <laughs> nah, dude. That's not gonna eat you up that hill, is it? Oh, I get you tucking into my camping meals. Chatting about computer games and that. Ah, oh, there it is. That must be Boomtown down there. Yes, man. You into it? Should we go to a festival? <laughs> the next cut's just me. Drum and bass tent. Off me rocker. <laughs> We're hiking back on and that. I'm still hiking on a hammer. I don't know. There it is. People queuing to get in, just leave it out, mate. I like a festival, I do. I'd rather be me, up here, hiking on my own for miles, than down there in, in pit. <laughs> I mean, both are good, aren't they? That's the thing, toe the line, mate, between wholesomeness and debauchery. Also, just because you're going to a festival, it doesn't mean it has to be debauchery. You can have a wholesome time. And just because you're on the hike, it doesn't mean you can't get debauched on the hike. There you go. Wise words. <laughs> ah, Heatwave chats. You can't do me for it. I love a hair bale, mate. Let it be known. Love one. I prefer a round one, but... I don't know. These will do. This is it. That's where I am. And that's where I'm going to end up, mate. Eastbourne. Homelands, the Glade Sanctuary, and now Boomtown. Boomtown. Here we are, the first gate of the South Downs Way. Please don't let me down, down way. Oh, come on, phone. Well, it doesn't matter, we're going. Oh, hey, up. Let's just leave it, listen. Yeah, okay. A little bit of a. He's painted it, or she's painted it yellow there. And I quite like that. Is this going to be a continued theme? I don't know. Or is it just a one-off? If it's just a one-off, a one-off, I appreciate you. Latch and locks. Check it out here for more content. Cheers. No, it's not a joke. Well, it is a joke that's gone too far, but follow it anyway for a laugh. See to her. You could detour me into a festival if you want. Can you imagine that? Look all how are you gonna get a I could scale that if I wanted to. How would I do it, you asking? Can't tell you. That's it, and that's me in Boomtown with bag on. Lollipop lady hat on, sideways. Just having it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, this festival has made me detour, so I'm going to detour past this sniper tower up here. Maybe get chatting with him, see if he can uh, see if he can get some backstage passes. A lot of festival goers. I wonder if they're trying to jump fence. Them days are long gone, mate. Money's too important to these guys nowadays, mate. Big business, these festivals. There's no way you're getting in there without paying an arm and a leg. And then once you're in there, expect to... I expect the prices to be hiked up. And that's the thing about festivals, isn't it, mate? It should be like a peace and love sort of thing, community, but as soon as they get you in there, high court prices up, cornered market. 
webs, mate. It's a bolt for the door, make a run for it with glow sticks, mate. I think this is the entrance to Boomtown. We could have a bit of Boomtown banter with some... Uh, some hammered festival goers. <laughs> should we get it? Should we get it going if we can? Oh, yeah, I'll have it. All right, mate, how's it going? <laughs> Got some water, got some electrolytes, mate. Have you been dancing too hard? <sighs> First one to rip piss out at Lollipop Lady Art is getting a spinning elbow. I'll tell you that for now. Well, yon side hedge is the queue for people getting into Boomtown. And I've checked the perimeter, mate. There's gonna be no one sneaking in this year. You've done a good job, security. You've done a good job. Tons of red kites down here, mate. They're like seagulls down here. You're up north, you're like, oh, there's a red kite. You're willing to crash your vehicle just to rub a neck at one. And you get down here and you're soon like, all oh, right, there's another, is there? Dancing, having time of the lives, partying, listening to newish, newest bands. Mate, filming red kites for a load of strangers on the internet. The spice of life, mate, variety. <laughs> I'll do this, thanks. Some bloke in a 4x4, I don't know if it's landowner or whatever, just pulled up to me and he's like, how are you finding the new route? I said, it's alright mate. He said, I'm extremely sorry that you've had to do a detour. Um, so I respect that, whoever you were mate, I respect you stopping and, and checking in to see how it was going on. So, I don't mind doing a bit of extra because he was nice. It's all overgrown. This is, it just says it's a bridal way, so... Do you know what, actually, it's vibing me out. I'm going to go through here. Fruit. Corn. Get out of here. Get onto this short gear. This will be an overflow car park for the festival, I imagine. Medic? He just bolted out there and he thought about it. He thought, hey, hold on a minute. There's a festival on. He started to have flashbacks of Glastonbury. He's away, look. Mr. Hare. It's like a fake rain thing. Got the wrong way. We've got the way back. Ow. It's far too hot to be making these mistakes. And I can't blame anything other than myself, human error. I just missed, I just, uh, the sign, it wasn't very well signposted for this detour because of this festival. They're having to like loop me all the way around this festival and uh, the signs weren't clear. Uh, or I didn't pay attention to it, probably that, probably me. And I've just gone and followed a bridal way, temporary bridal way path sign. <sighs> all the way down here, all the way around there, to the side of them cars. And then when I've stopped for nogging scratch, I've thought, oh no, this doesn't add up. Back, <laughs> we're going back. So, oh, it's just extra miles and legs in it that you didn't need anyway. And I was already on top of this detour. No, it doesn't matter, does it? We can't dwell on it. We can't dwell on it. Today's a good day. I was just thinking to myself, oh, yes. I know it's a heat wave and that, but we're going to smash it today. Get some, <laughs> I do this every time. First day, I'm like, yeah, it's, uh, we're all in. Second day, I can't do it. I think I've got to quit. Third day, I'm back. Fourth day, I can't do it. So I'm back up to here where I was looking at that map as well and thanking that dude for stopping and asking me if it was well signposted. Yeah, there he is. Look, give him some electrolytes, he'll be all right. I really want to crunch out some miles today. I need to do around 20 miles. A bit of a, bit of a low point here because some guy's just gone past on a bike. It's like, now, mate, he said, Enjoy your walk. And I said, You too. And he was on a bike, and then I was like, Ah. Oh. And then I said, I mean, I mean, ride off. By, by the time I said that, he was, he was in rear view mirror. So he's on off there thinking that guy's absolutely done in. Poor sap. The heat's got to him so much that he's gone and said, you too. And clearly I'm on a bike. Oh well. Rock bottom. The good thing about rock bottom is there's only one way. We're back. What better way to celebrate being back in the game? One of these southern arts, well worn in that like. Probably get a good, yes. 
felt good, felt good, sounded good. Let nature take it. Yeah, good. There's a cyclist coming up. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't worry about it, man. I just filming myself walking past camera. I know, I know it's silly. Oh, it's one of these. We've been done by this before. Lift, then. Yeah, okay. I get you. It's just one extra step, though, isn't it? Like, why don't you just. Why should I have to. Why should I have to lift it and then do it? Why don't you just have it. Get rid of that bit? I respect it, though. I do respect it. I do respect it. I've thought about it and I do respect it. And I respect that. that looks like a nipple. So, good. Good on you. Looks like we're going into this woodland, hopefully. Well, yeah, we are, look. A welcome bit of shade. Please shut the gate. <laughs> Do you know who you're talking to? Come on. You're dealing with the managing director of Latch and Locks here. Now, you tell me to shut this gate. This gate should do it. Yeah, that's all right, actually. That's good. It's good enough, sorry. I was going to diss you there, but you've done well, all of you. Shade, mate, shade. Who would have thought it? Something as simple as just something that blocks out the sun could bring so much joy that it's so cool, the air, in comparison. And I do I love walking through woodland as well, it's a lot, especially when you've been out on the fields and stuff. There's a lot more going on, my eyes are always, you know, what can I eat? What's going on? What's that doing? What, who are they? What's that squirrel doing? Has he got a flick knife? Run! Oh, that sort of heat, that's heat, that was heat stroke, I think, that one. Oh, these nettles are a bit long out there, look at them. Face height, way up there. <sighs> Glorious anyway. Yeah, nice one, this wood is all nice, but I've had to come back. I've gone all the way through it and been like, that. Ah, we've got so much not right again. Made another mistake. It's not good enough. You see a decent gate and you're like, that's it, must be it. It's because it's been the, uh, uh, been the president of latches and locks, you just automatically, is a sign saying, look, I even looked at that sign. Look, sign, South Downs Way, that way. I looked at it, I looked at it with my eyes. And then I was like, Oh, look at this gate, it's good, isn't it? Let's, uh, hey, please shut gate, I'll have you, I'll shut you away. Hey. Off I went through woods. <laughs> Wrong way. Come on, hazy. Hey, hey. It's not good enough, is it? Oh, that was annoying. So, that's two, twice we've messed up today. I've messed up today. It's not good enough. You mess up like that, like, twice a day, every day. You've added another day on. No more. No more now. Focus. Also, when you f it's when I'm filming as well, I'm, like, too busy chatting to you about important things, like latches, locks, and dead animals. And I'm like, we don't really need to concentrate on signposts and going the right way. We can just chat about gates and go, go through them keep going it's a gate go through it <sighs> eight strokes done me on it you can tell banter's off <laughs> just banter's off and going wrong direct i'm all over the place mate i'm all over the place it was such an impromptu sort of spur of the moment thing the day of was like right you've got a chance to get a lift down south took a load of stuff in bag well i as soon as I camp, as soon as I set up camp tonight, I'll realise I forgot some at no tent or sleeping bag or something. But it's because of that nature, the nature of like rushed and spontaneous. It fogs my mind up, and so I'm all over the place. <laughs> I don't have a, I've not watched any things about the South Down Way. I've not re read about it. It just all seems like a mad dream, if I'm honest. And maybe that's why I'm just ambling left, right, and centre. Um, and not, not completely focused on it, but I guess that's going to be the running theme of this one. You know, the Cleveland Way was all about the journey and about nostalgia. Then this one is just about spur of the moment, going off your instinct. 
and not really planning too much and letting the chips fall where they may. This is a nice sign, look that's been done, someone's put a little bit of effort into this uh, and that doesn't go unnoticed by the likes of me. Is there any other sign saying go this way before I go through a gate? That's it, double checking now. Is it a lift up? <sighs> no it wasn't, but I did it anyway because I'm... We're interested in this much more, what have you got? I'm also interested in a cake and some coffee. Look at this, you don't normally get this on your hikes, look. You definitely don't get this on the Cape Raft Trail anyway. Cadence coffee shop is like proper posh coffee machine. So I'm getting iced coffee and a cherry bacon slice, you know it mate. Iced coffee, <laughs> a little bacon slice mush, and then just get trotters dried out, let them breathe a little bit. Thanks for having me. Bit loud with cars and that, and it's not the ambience you want, listen. Just happily bimbling along in my own thoughts. It's nice. It's not like breathtakingly, like, oh, look at that, look at that. So it doesn't engage you in that way. But it's just like a pleasant backdrop to your own thoughts. So I'm enjoying it. Remember when I got that honk honk off the lorry driver? Changed my life, that. Changed the whole trajectory of my life. Sliding doors, honking horns. Medic! Look at all these thistles have just erupted. And with there been not a breath of wind, they've all just got caught up in themselves. And that is an absolute tinder bundle on a day like today, man. So if you were just driving past in your car and flicked your tab out, whoosh, that's going up. Field behind it's going up. All this side's going up. A bit of shade. <laughs> Yeah, walking along that main road in, in the heat isn't, wasn't the one. It's nowhere near as hot as it was on the Cleveland Way. Like day two on the Cleveland Way was the hottest day ever in the UK. Especially where I was. Boiling up, man. 40 degrees. We're only at 30 here, so it's still hot for the UK and hot for doing multi day hiking, but. It's not a patch on how it was on Cleveland Way, so I mustn't grumble. It's just a lovely day. That said, it's nice to get in this shade. It feels good, really good. And it's good to see these signs again. Let's crack on lollipop lads. That way, look, got it that way around now, look. Cause just needed it a little break in eyes. Might get myself some, need to get myself some sun goggles, don't I? Someone's been on sauce, look. Some lucky swine. What, let's see, what you been on? Oh, he's been on strong gear, look, star of Praman. Apple ties are just for hangover. Good sesh, good sesh. Good sesh, making me want a pint. Spur of the moment, fluidity, all that sort of stuff is the, the key for this one. That's the message that I'm, that's naturally coming to me, is like last minute, spur of the moment, Make a decision, go with it. Because that's what's come to me and how it feels, that's what I'm that's what I'm projecting. That's what I'll probably get back off the universe. <laughs> and there'll be a few people out there going, what are you talking about, Paul? You've lost it. What do you mean, universe? The universe isn't listening to you. We're all just in a big cosmic pile of soup. A bag of piss and blood. But and that's fine if you want to believe that. Good luck to you, that's good. Uh, you know. But I like to be, I like to think about stuff like opening different channels of energy and, and leaving yourself open or maybe like a little bit of a conduit to, to this cosmic soup for stuff to maybe flow through you. And yes, I know it sounds absolutely nuts, but you can choose to lean into it or not and I find it more I find life more exciting when I lean into it. So I do. And it's just as simple as that. You can make believe what you want. Uh, there's a quote by Richard Dawkins, you know, uh, who was like a 
militant atheist and he said that the garden is you know when talking about religion and stuff he says the garden is beautiful enough without make believing there's fairies at the bottom of it and I read his book and I, I that was I used to quote that when I was a young when I was a young book I'd be like yeah that's cool I'm willing to like nature and just what's real is what's beautiful in life what you know insects and birds and natural phenomena and phenomena fauna flora flora whatever that is is it a kite that red kite up there beautiful there's enough going on in that how it sees what it hears how it works there's enough majesty in the world to not have to you know focus on things that you might not necessarily exist and i used to think that but as i get older i like to i like the romance and the the not knowing of just leaning into that like but what if there is fairies at the bottom of the garden i don't want to be i want to see them and even if there aren't fairies i want to make believe there is because it's just more fun i used to tell my daughter that you know you get holes in trees and i used to call them trelophones and I would go up to the trelophones and I would talk to the fairies in the woods and I would always have sweets on me and I'd talk to the fairies and I would hide sweets around the back of the tree so she would think, and she believed it because she was only young that I had connection to these fairies in the woods through these trelophones and then I would hook them up with some sweets and that to her was magic and then there comes a stage in your life where that goes doesn't it that has to go and you're like oh well there is no, there's no point in believing trelophones exist now because that's not real so the, I'm shifting more nowadays towards like why not? Why not believe it? Why not? Don't you know? Don't go too far. Don't rabbit hole. Don't open your mind too much, or your brain will fall out. Like Tim Minchin said. But I like to leave myself open to the. To the, I don't know what. Because I've got eight jokes that you can't do me for sounding like a raging hippie. <laughs> Nah man, energies of that and thought, pro, you know, opening myself up to the, a certain way of thinking, projecting it, I feel like I open myself up to that as well and so it's, it can flow through me. So if I'm feeling spontaneous and, it, you know, adventurous, then that sort of, I'll find that energy, that energy will be drawn to me. And that's what I believe and that's that final. Full stop, good night. You can unsubscribe if you want. If you don't want, there'll be a link below to my crystal shop where I'll be selling my joysticks and crystals at half price from now until Christmas. Or as I like to call it, the pagan holiday of St. Christmas. <laughs> Stuff. I've got heat stroke, mate. I've got heat stroke. You can't do me for it. See you later. Ah, coming back. Got it. You can stay there. This is too, that was slightly too far that, that was slightly too far, we can't do too many of them, it, the, the heat's cranked up, another drinking water point, absolutely brilliant, something to do with like a detour there, probably haven't paid enough attention to that, away we go, another little yellow, Yellow, I could have used that, I mean, there's options, isn't there? But when it's yellow, you're not going to not use it, are you? Come on. Yes. I enjoyed that. Good acoustics. Back on some, is this tarmac? Yeah. Road work. Well, I can smell burnt, like, you can smell tarmac softening up from the heat. Love that smell. I've sacked map off completely now. OS map is just... Pointless. Damage report. Oh. If we put him in one of them, uh, like that, spinning round, there's a light that goes like that. And then all different parts of my body glow up red means you've had it. It's trouble. And then it's like progressively to amber and then over towards yellow, green. Green means we're good. And Fully scanned, noggin, internal scan, green, luminous green, neon green, body, green, green all over, even feet, yeah, green. So let's run. <laughs> because my, my last long distance hike 
wasn't too long ago and I'm well aware that on the first day I was like pretty chipper and then uh, sort of the wheels came off on the second day big time and if you'd have put me in scanner on the second day <laughs> it'd have just scanner would have just give up wouldn't have even loaded up because it's like that nah, no point mate inside noggin beep 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 bright red done he's done he's too hot <laughs> legs are full legs are done in chafing's done him he's boiling up anyway chatting too much breeze while walking down this road but i'm feeling good is what i'm trying to say and not even thinking about tomorrow's downfall what's this it's a trig point look not bad not very high up, are we for a trig point? But I guess when you're doing south, that's what you get. We're actually quite high up, aren't we? When you look down into the valley, plane up there, look, medic, come down here, help, I'm hot. Downhill. Going downhill as well, mate. Robert Downhill Jr. It's nice to see where I've come over these hills and through here. <sighs> Certainly getting hotter. Sometimes it can be soul destroying when you're looking and you can see how far you've got to go. It's a bit, it can be take wind out your sails a little bit, but it's a good measure, isn't it? It's a good sort of. So if you can see how far it is, you know, oh, right, head down, crack on, and then you can look back and be like, oh, I've come all that way, just on odd legs. It's a good feeling. So we're coming into this little village now, which is, begins with E, and I don't know. We're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy, so I don't know what's what. The signs are just still lovely signs. This is becoming, um, a very comforting sign to see. I'll tell you what they do down here well, and I will say it, no, I won't say it better than Yorkshire, because that's not bleh, that's not in me to say, but there's some roofs down here, man. I love a good roof. I'm out here looking at roofs, mate. Appreciating a, a thatched roof or an old cottage roof. And uh, down here they do them well. They're, uh, they're definitely double takers, you like that? <laughs> I am anyway, because I'm a nerd. I'm, a, I'm the coolest nerd in this field. So you can have that. Look, we, even just down there, you can't really see, but let's go into this little village anyway, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Medic! If this little village, or whatever it is, little hamlet, has got an alehouse, we're in trouble. We'll be, look. Look at that. Look at that for a roof. Look at it. Is they not entertained? Look at this. Crystal clear water. This is a beer garden. This is not open, there's no one here. Just gonna see if it's open. If it's open, we'll have a couple of gauges by that water. That'd be nice. Come on. I would have loved it. I'd have loved a pint in that alehouse. Sat by that river. But it's not meant to be. I'm not gonna sit an hour and a half just to get a skin full. <laughs> Cause then I wouldn't Because it was nice, I would have stayed there, wouldn't I? For how long? And I'd have been keeping in this field, it'd have all gone wrong. And I'd have only done like Whatever it is, 12 and a half, 13 miles today, which is poor, and then I'd have been making up time. So I've decided to let that one go. Maybe in another life, or maybe later in this life, I'll come across that beer garden again, and we shall uh, light some logs. Look at that beautiful. Oh, mate, there's some lovely houses down there, and the roofs are to die for. So anyway, that decision's been made. Leave the house behind us in the thoughts and dreams of a crispy pint. And we'll get some more miles, get some more miles done. Because future me will thank current me for not just sitting by that babbling brook and getting drunk. Got all these heifers, there's, that's a lot. 
and they're all in, trying to find shade under here. That's prime real estate, isn't it, lads? A bit of shade. Do you mind if I share it with you for a little bit? Squad. Just squad goals, I guess, and just rolling deep with the squad. You've, uh, I'll come in nearer, don't panic. We're all mates here, look. There we go. See? They cannot have heard the rumours. I'm gonna stroke on Ed. Anyone? Come here. Look at me whispering to this one. Come on. Do you want to stroke on Ed? Look, mate, I've got to go anyway. Do you want to come here? Shh. Trying to whisper it to me. Come here. You having it? Not having it. Playing hard to get. I don't blame you. Because I just. Right. Stop wasting time talking to cows. And... Come on. Oh, Kingfisher! Yes, man! <laughs> oh, yes! Best day ever! Best day ever! Oh, that was sick! I love seeing King. That was mint. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen one of them little blue neon numpties. That was well nice. You could get in if you were desperate. Which I'm not right now. Nice and cool in here. I don't know how I feel about all these widow makers. Look at that man. A bit of ash to head. Cramp ball on there. Oh, Tinder worthy. Don't need it. Didn't need it. Medig! What's this? At the going down of the sun. And in the morning, we will remember them. All them lads. You can't see on here, but... On the night of 4th of April, during rehearsals prior to D-Day, a subsequent airborne assault operation in Europe, a Stirling 5, is it, or 6? With its third horse glider crashed, killing all 33 soldiers and aircrew on board. Uh, rest in peace, thanks for your service, and to all those still serving, I salute you. It's a lovely section, this. Big glowing thing up back at Ed now. It's that time of day where it's just at my back, back at neck, back at legs. <laughs> Sapping me a little bit, to be honest with you. Time check, 20 to 6. Oh, 20 minutes that alehouse would have been open. <laughs> That's a distant memory. So I'm just going to keep going until it gets... Until the... Until that big orange ball just chills out a little bit. Which it might not, it might keep going until it's dark. And then we'll look for a spot to camp. Old Winchester Hill. Effortless, well done. You never know, do you? Might be a good one. Mmm, good one. Welcome to Winchester Hill. Iron Age Fort. Where am I? You are here. Am I? Iron Age Fort over there. I came through it. Didn't even know. Can't see that little peak there. That's where I was, I think, where I was chatting to a bloke. And he was pointing over here, talking about... About here. <laughs> well, I'm here now, that bloke. I'm here. What's this? Look, yeah. Education. I'm trying to teach me stuff, look. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's Joy D. Look at these apples on here. I'm going to have to get a couple of for the bag. <laughs> I'm filming this just in case, because look. A lot of heifers here. I'm outnumbered here, like. Meadow. I know someone who used to uh, think that that was green concrete and run on it. Shout out you, you nutter. So good to sit down, man. I don't have one of these uh, water tap. <laughs> water taps. It's a rare, you've heard of them? Water taps. Oh, just a tap in it. Just a tap, mate. Eh? <sighs> Tapping out. I'm done. Done for the day. My mate Fern was supposed to be joining me for a bit of a hike on this one, but she's been waylaid, so she's going to potentially meet me here 
and then we're going to drive off somewhere, maybe do a wild camp, um, maybe do some foraging, whatever. And then she's maybe going to join me tomorrow for a bit of a hike or drop me back off here and I'll just continue on my way. You might know Fern from Instagram, I'll leave her thing there, you can go follow her. And we've just been chatting loads and we I went down to Devon to hang out with her and her friends. Q, Q, Q footage. I'm keeping that in. You hear that? Punch you. <laughs> no, I said. Do you know what I said? Do you know what I, said? Do you... I said, do you think I'm not going to do anymore? Right. <laughs> so, do you know what I said? I was getting a lovely shot. Cut to the shot, actually. Cut to the shot because I finally did get it. And I'll put that over the top of this. But you'll also hear her say, I will punch you. I know. So, what you hear is if the saying, next shot of me, I've got a black punch. eye, you'll know that's why. <laughs> And we're going to be doing some stuff together, some foraging videos um, and bits and pieces together. Total transparency, I just want you to know where I'm keeping. So I'll, that'll be where I'm keeping probably. She has a camper van, so she'll keep it camper van and I'll just bed down at Wigwam. And I'll fill you in, we'll maybe, get, I'll maybe come back tomorrow. If I feel like filming, we will. If not, we'll pick it up. We'll pick it up tomorrow from here. It's good to rest, mate. It's good to rest. Battery's running out. Perfect time. Ah. Oh. Beautiful mate, beautiful. Get this last last bit of sun, what's it got? 15 minutes till it goes behind them trees. Get some salts into me, electrolytes. Sick of saying electrolytes and thinking about electrolytes. Alright, pigeon. Having a pint next to that river from earlier, so that's manifesting. Manna from heaven. Fern saved my life here. And now look. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers mate, nice one. There it is, a pint of neck oil. I know you can't see it as much now because it's dark, but I made it back to this pub with the beer garden. And that is fate. It's a full moon, pint on, we're having some nice food, all is good. So this is where I started in Winchester. Came through lovely Winchester. At, just for the record, <clears throat> this is weeks later I'm doing this. I've had to buy this map just to do map time and TBH, I can't really remember because it was so long ago. But we came over here, that's where I got my honk, public highlight of my life, off that truck. Came over here, this is where you come up onto, so you leave, you leave Winchester and you come up here, um, out into the sticks. Keep going, this is where Boomtown was, across here, all these fields, some lovely views. Uh, Holden Farm. Now I'm going to say this is where I filled up my water and um, there was that place where I got the my coffee and stuff. If it ain't, don't do me for it because I can't remember. I'm so suitably refreshed. <laughs> Down here, over another road. Or maybe this was where? Is that that pub? Oh, this is bad. I don't know. Anyway, I kept going. Long here. Down to I. Feeling good, man. It was a good day. I got lost a couple of times. Well, that's on me. Human error. Did I, come? I didn't come down here. I came across here, I think. Yeah. And then into Exton. Where that's, this is where that pub was, next to the river. That miraculously I ended up back at. And that was glorious. Uh, now, there is multiple choices here as well, which I didn't know about because I didn't have the map. But I went this way, over this road. This is where I saw the Kingfisher. Up and out, kept going to Old Winchester Hill, round here, that's the car park where I got my apples, through this field full of cows, past this farmland, and to here, so this is where Fern picked me up, and then we drove back to here to have a glorious pint next to that river. 
Um, and then we camped, where did we camp? We camped somewhere around here. And then early doors the next day, Furnas drove me back and dropped me off back where she picked me up here. So we'll start from here. And I'll be better at map time next time because I'm sure I'll remember, I'll revise it. But there we are for now, we're starting back here for day two. And thanks for watching. See you soon.